everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I know that, yeah, I'm gonna put this after. So I know that I filmed, I like just got done filming this look, but now I'm going to actually do a different video. So, excuse me, ain't got time to change her hair, ain't got time to change her makeup or her clothes. I'm traveling this coming weekend. So I, I won't have time to do another video. So I'm sorry that my hair and my makeup and my outfit isn't different, but you guys hopefully have already seen that in last week's video. If not, then you will see it. Anyway, so I wanted to just start off and just kind of brief it on here. I didn't want to make it like a huge deal. Um, I have been editing my videos for, you know, since the beginning of January. Um, and I notice, I know that I sound like an idiot. Um, and that's okay. No one has told me that I sound like an idiot, but in my mind, how I hear things, how I'm explaining certain things, how I can't read certain things, I get it. I know that, I know that how it looks and how it sounds. Just know that that's like my personality. That's just, that's kind of me. Um, if there is something that I am super passionate about, not that I'm, not saying that like certain terms in some of these pal palettes you know like I'm obviously passionate about like whatever I'm gonna review but if there's something that I need to get my facts completely straight on um, I will just ramble on and you guys won't even you know see me skip a beat so um, just know that I get it I know that a lot of the time I don't really sound like I know what I'm talking about but I promise you anyway what am I getting into I know that I sound like an idiot a lot of the time I get it I know don't you don't have to remind me I know that another point that I just wanted to bring up because I know that we kind of have these talks every now and then so I just really wanted to just do a refresher of you are amazing and I know like right now right now I'm like speaking to myself so it's kind of just like oh you know you're just telling yourself you're amazing but truly if you're watching this video and you are just in a place where you feel like you are not getting anywhere in life you're not you know getting down to your goals the way that you want to you're not you know I don't know I don't know you're just not in the mindset or the place that you want to be at you're doing just fine. The Mercury retrograde stuff is going on right now. I see a lot of people blaming that. So let's just blame Mercury retrograde stuff. You will get through this little rut that you have going on. I did. It was like two weeks ago. This is my first time wearing makeup. This is my first time doing a makeup tutorial on like, what, two weeks, two-ish weeks or so. And I wasn't wearing makeup to work and I was literally just like over it. I was so over it. I was at a point where I was like, I don't want to spend time to do my makeup. I don't. And I took a break. I mentally took a break. I didn't get on my YouTube channel. I don't really get on my YouTube channel just, you know, to start off with, but I didn't get on, I didn't go looking at, to see who was commenting or see who was liking or I hardly got on to my, like my Instagram looks like a desert, it's dry. I just was really feeling like I was in a place where I just needed to collect my thoughts and then understand what I really wanted to do, um, which I did and I feel great after doing that. I came back and I literally, you know, the, the beauty guru God spoke to me and that's why I did this look. Um, and I feel so amazing after doing this look. Um, I love it so much. I did a couple different techniques like with my nose contour, which I know that I need to perfect. I feel like one side is a little darker than the other. I just felt so good just sitting here and doing my makeup. Like that was my rut that I was in. I was so like, you have to do makeup, you have to go film, you have to do something. And I, I was literally, on the verge of, I don't wanna do this anymore. I have goals, I have ambitions, I have dreams, and I know that I can accomplish that. I have to keep going, keep pushing, so can you, whatever the goal is, whatever the dream is, I want you to continue to push. I want you to make sure that you are, um, you have a clear road map, that you are able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. If there are things that are blocking you from getting there, address it. Get it out of the way, whether it be a person, whether it be a physical object, whether it be, 
you know, money, anything, do whatever you can to get it out of the way, remove your impediments, and continue to truck along. And don't feel so pressured if it's not being accomplished in a year or two, and you see somebody else that's accomplishing it in a year. Don't, don't do that to yourself because then you are trying to model your life the way that that other person's life is and that's not that's not at all the case in any way shape or form their life is completely different from yours so just know that you can continue to do what you're doing you need to continue to do what you're doing and you are almost there like i don't know in what part of the way that you are but you're almost there think about where you were last year or th two years ago you're almost there you got it, continue to push, continue to grow, cool. The other thing that I wanted to just do as a refresher, um, so I have started a weight loss journey and I'm very excited because I'm actually dedicated three weeks in. I have stopped, my husband and I, we are both in this weight loss journey, my husband and I both have stopped drinking, which we were, I don't know the right term for it, like, I want to say that it, it's like, and this is a really good term, like social alcoholics or something, like we can act fine, normal on alcohol. We, we were heavy drinkers. If we didn't have anything going on for the night, we would drink. If we were going out with friends, we'd drink. Um, after work, we'd drink. We have beer in our fridge right now just sitting there. We have like two bottles of liquor in our freezer. We are, we're heavy drinkers. We were just social drinkers. It was nothing that was out of control. Like we knew when to stop. We knew when we wanted to, but at this point we were like, okay, we need to just completely cut it out because our health, you know, just, just our health in general. Um, I really wanted to focus in and I really wanted to um, put some new goals out there. I feel like I'm doing a very great job of accomplishing uh, a couple of my um, other personal goals, but this goal was definitely put on the back burner. I still, no matter what shape, size, number that I am, I will forever love this body. <clears throat> Even though I, I really like kept adding to it like over the years, I a thousand percent love this body. And there's nothing and no one that can change my mind on that. So no matter what. But I, I wanted to be able to breathe better, to sleep better, to feel more energized, which just these past three weeks, um, I have been eating healthier. We've been going to the gym every single day, obviously cutting out alcohol. Um, and we feel so much better. Like there are days, there are a lot of days where it's just like, okay, let's just have a burger for lunch. But we stop ourselves and we tell, like we, you know, I kind of have to go back and forth with my husband but I mean, we stop ourselves. We tell us, you know, no, we need to, we need to st stick. Whoa, we need to stick with the plan. We need to um, not fall off the bandwagon because that's what happens every single time. Um, that's what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. Hopefully, like I think whenever I get to a good place, because I'm still kind of in that zone of potentially could fall off, and I don't want that to happen. So I don't want to apply more pressure to um, my weight loss. Or, or I don't, I guess I don't want to set a huge expectation. What am I trying to say? Like I'm telling you that I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm telling you that I'm trying it, but then if I carry you along with me and then I tell you every single day that I'm going to the gym, everything that I'm eating, and then the one day that I stop or for whatever freaking crazy weird reason that I stop doing it, I feel like I failed if I go back and tell you guys that like, okay, well I'm not dieting anymore. So I am giving myself a little bit of cushion to say we've started we have enjoyed it we are continuing we have not fallen off track we have seen results um so it's good we're good right now it's, it's a good good place um and then lastly that i wanted to address is just um i have been getting so much love oh my gosh like it's finally kind of starting to come come out like and and i take any random random instagrammer just coming and commenting on my page um, anyone liking this video like it's the little things that really get me because I never would have even considered someone thinking that something was funny or useful or they just liked watching my video I never would have considered that so the littlest things oh my gosh thank you so much like I've I've never been in so much just joy seeing people actually enjoy my videos um, so on top of that, I see and I hear what you guys are saying and I know that some people want me to do certain 
videos and want me to do um, like different reviews. I hear it. I hear you. I'm broke at the moment. Um, in a couple of videos ago, I think I talked about how we're trying to get out of debt also. So that is a factor in we have to always ask ourselves, is this a, something we want or something we need? Hopefully it won't last that long. Hopefully it's just a couple more months and then we should be good. But um, yeah, so I, I promise you I have videos lined up. I have videos coming up from uh, previous things that I've done, which I'm so excited to show you my project that I did, um, that I participated in last week. Um, but I think that that's all that I had. Um, I just wanted to come out here and tell you guys that I love you guys so freaking much. Like, I'm obsessed. I love, I love doing YouTube at this point. I really love editing. I'm so happy that I'm back and I can feel the joy and excitement of doing my makeup. So. Um, I will continue doing that. Do not stop, you know, sending me your advice or sending me your suggestions. That helps me tremendously because I will go all week and just be like, should I do a tutorial brushing my teeth? That'd be a really good one, wouldn't it? Uh. So please just send me your suggestions um, and I will write them down in my little book. I'll end it with this. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys are very loyal and I love you guys and you are going to accomplish what you need to accomplish. It is there, it is set, I know, I see it. I see it. Okay, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. So, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, Emily Say, Emily S-A-Y-Y-Y. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Sorry, it's very daddish. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.